State lawmakers are slugging it out and making some progress in this special session, things they couldn't get done during the regular session. Late last night, the Senate passed a school finance plan cutting $4 billion from education over two years. It's essentially the same plan that died on the Senate floor on the last day of the regular session. Democrats in the Senate trying again to tap the rainy day fund, but Republicans say no way. The House will vote on the new plan early next week. Lawmakers are not the only ones hot and bothered at the state capitol. Protesters are busy, too. Our Dustin Blanchard covered several rallies today. Rally after rally. School boosters are still as loud, with cuts on the verge of passing. The whole process does wear you down, and it's hard to keep going, and you get discouraged. But I feel like it's worth it because we need to let them know we're voting. Christy Upton came down from DFW because her husband's job is likely to be cut. But even with the funding formula through the Senate, she's still holding out hope. Hope that it will change. I'm not, I'm not dead set on the fact that the House will pass this. The passion extended outside, where folks fought against TSA pat-downs. They're really wanting uh, the governor to add this legislation like he has others over the past few days to the call uh, so that the dignity and freedom of travelers in Texas will be protected. His bill to make the pat-downs a crime passed the House in the regular session before stalling in the Senate. Now this crowd wants it passed in the special session. This is, this is a step in that right direction, being here and letting these people know that represent us, they're supposed to represent us, that, that we want them to, to stand up for us against this, the federal government. Back inside, this protest was quieter, but still boisterous. We've got to dance, and if dancing is illegal, then uh, we're a little devastated. It's in response to this. Washington, D.C. Parks Police arresting dancers in the Jefferson Memorial last month. We don't stand up for our rights, we lose them. Come and take it! And so, those right, left, and side to side took this chance to stand up and be heard. At the Capitol, Dustin Blanchard, KXAN Austin News.